Chandy, thanks for talking to us. Uh, two different halves there. What's your take on that? Yeah, um, I thought I set up a, a strategy um, before the game, which kind of worked until we got done by a sloppy set piece. I, I wanted us to just go in and be strong in the spine for the first half an hour, and then because we're low on confidence, and then just bring a bit of belief into it and start using the wingers, get get the ball out wide. Um, obviously, they, they scored. Um, probably, I think the only chance of the game, and it was a set piece, um, and you know, against a, a young lad who should have cleared the lines and been a lot sharper. But I think that's a lot of the issue, sharpness and, you know, all over the pitch, fitness levels. Um, and it's something that you know, we need to, to look at to, to stop little things like that. I must admit, when the second one went in, it was a bit of a, a bit of deja vu. It was like, you know, at 1-0, you're always in with a shout. But the way we've been recently, when that second goal's got in, we've gone really down, haven't we? And yet we didn't do that today. And you made some changes in the second half. Yeah, well, at half time, because cause they were winning 1 0, and they were still just having two men sat at the back, mm -hmm. just like us. So I, I squeezed Scott K on at half time just to bring more um, depth to the forward line so they had more players to be involved with. And straight away it worked, and we started getting more on the ball. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's come, um, unfortunately, on the goal. It, you'll do that 99 times, you know, in the next year and clear it. So, you know, I think tired legs played a part on that as well. And that was the reason I took him off. That was, you know, because he, he was doing OK. Um, and I said that to him, you know, keep your head, you played well. You made a mistake. You know, mistakes cost goals. It's, that's the game, isn't it? So, but then we saw, we just started seeing little chinks in their back four getting tired, especially down, down our right-hand side. So, I just put the onus on stretching the game a bit more down there and when you tried to combat it I know by swapping it around but I just felt by that point we had you know we had the momentum and we just needed a chance and obviously Kirk at the post great following by Brody who I think deserved a goal today he worked tirelessly and I think you just saw the belief in the players when it went 2-1 like do you know what we're in this you know so again I, I took more of a defensive man I chucked another forward in there to play behind Kirk and luckily it it come off. Yeah, I mean, we, we were talking before about the four of them up front after Bannister came on. Uh, they did look a tasty unit, didn't they? Which is something we've not really seen this season. But they looked like they had goals in them. And it changed the game, really. And, and, and that's what lifted... Well, you could tell how it lifted everybody, couldn't you? Definitely, definitely. And that's what we were trying to do. You know, we, we had to go for it. We were losing, you know. Yeah. You can't sit there 2-1 down with 20 minutes to go and go, Joe, you know we'll, we'll just see if we can... You know, flute one in, you've, you've got to try and alter it for the best and you know, be positive and make positive changes, which we did. Just one thing, a, a, a bit of a more negative, I suppose. We were talking before the game and you were very keen to try and get a clean sheet. Um, they're not looking like they're going to get a clean sheet, are they, at the moment? I'm, I'm just wondering what, what, what your strategy is going to be to try and, try and deal with that, really. Yeah, well, I mean, if I... Go back on the night, I'd, I mean, I'd like to watch it again, but if I went back through the game now, I can't think of many times they hurt us. So that's a positive, you know, silly mistakes for me. And basics, on a set piece, you set yourselves up, and we were, we were had a big discussion on set pieces. Who's doing what, and you not know, even where you're supposed to be standing, and didn't, and we're not quick enough, and we're not making our men quick enough, and we're leaving too much space where you can see your man's there, well, go, on, go on, get tighter, you know, stand the right way against him. You know, and it's just little things like that which obviously we need to look at still. And I mean, you can't do nothing about the second. It's yeah, again, it's he won't do that again. <laughs> well, he won't do it again. No. So touch wood. Anyway. No. So, so basically, what you're saying is this week on the training ground, that's one of the things that you're going to be looking at. On 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 a, on a positive note, though, uh, very impressed with the with the keeper. Um, you know, given that we've shipped a lot of goals and we've had this problem in front, I, th I think he's uh, he's played really well and uh, started to come for the ball today, which I thought was I thought was useful for us. Definitely, uh, first time I've seen the lad um, today, so obviously I've had the reports on him, and you know he's a confident young lad. He's a, he's a good size, and, and I think it showed it. And I, I was trying to remember he made a couple of saves late on. Yeah. Um, where we kind of stretched the game a bit and we left a few gaps, but you had to gamble. And they got in behind down the, down the side, down the left hand side, and he made a couple of you know, brilliant saves. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's definitely a, a talent.
Yeah, and he's done that in a couple of games recently. I think I think we were saying that before, you know. Um, so squad wise, um, what what's the situation? I mean, this is the squad we've got. I know we haven't got loads of money to bring players in. That's not going to happen. But the loan signing, and you were excited about him before, and I thought he had a cracking game. Donahue from uh, Fleetwood. Yeah. So anything else on the horizon? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm, I'm trying to wheel and deal at the minute. Um, I was waiting on a few clubs on Friday, but because of the transfer deadline yeah. in the AFL, everyone's holding on to get the loans higher up, which yeah. you, know, you can understand. So now that's gone. There's still a bunch of players there, and I've, I've been talking to one or two. I'm hoping to get, I'd like another couple over the line, um, quick, just so we can move on. Because I know I kind of you know, identify where we're short and what we need. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping next week we might see one or two more. Um, well, that, well, that's good news. I mean, next week, Southport, um, you've got a couple of training sessions, obviously got some work to do, but we're going to go into that game probably a lot more... Uh, optimistic than we were actually today I think so after that comeback today which was an FC comeback of old it was a chatty comeback really wasn't it <laughs> you, you were used to that in the old days yeah well I think I was getting sucked onto the pitch once or twice to be honest the linesman told me a few times I weren't playing yeah but just you know I was just trying to will them on and you know push the guys forward and get them the, get the belief in them that you're still in this game you know they, we saw what was in front of us and, and I generally thought we can cut these open, and, and we did. You know, we got, you know, Kirk works hard. I know it was a penalty. Um, I'm not sure if he touched him. He, he, he did turn quite sharply. Uh, yeah. I thought it was a bit of a clumsy tackle yeah, at that kind of time in the game. Um, but he deserved it. Kirk worked, you know, hard all, all day. Um, earned us the first goal with his strike. He, he's hungry. He just loves shooting and scoring goals, you know. But we need to support him and get round him. Um, which is what I've seen, we don't do enough. And then he starts going searching and dropping right. deep for the wall. We don't want that. And that's why as well, I kind of put um, Brody behind him yeah. to try and give him a bit of support. Because um, I thought our four going forward would be able to match their four at the back. Yeah. Um, as long as we could get defensively right behind them. And I had to make changes late on today and put Sam Bird in, who, who did, considering he's, you know, he's not a centre midfielder. Um, I had to change at the last minute to put him there, you know, he did great. I just thought I, t I took him off to go one hole in midfielder to give us that extra dimension and go five up. Are we likely to have uh, Harry Winter fit again next week? Uh, what the injury situation? Um, Harry Winter's got a concussion. Right. I was hoping, well, I was told he was going to be okay because we went to the doctors on Friday, but now it's not the case. So I believe it could be another week before right. he's allowed to train. OK, well, at least we're going to be all looking forward to next, next Saturday. And it's, uh, it's good that we've got another home game coming up, I think, as well. It, it's, it's good timing, really. So best of luck for that. And thanks for giving us something to shout about this afternoon, Chaddy. It was good. Thank you.